there friends and good morning papa welcome to another battle pet video in today's video we are going after the blood meek blood lasher i'm actually really excited about this because when they announced the war within i was really hoping this was going to be a battle pet that we could acquire and guess what it is there's just something really fun about riding around with a sinister looking battle pet i don't know or just maybe he just has a face that only a mother can love. I don't have a clue. I don't know why I like this thing so much as I do, but I just, if I had it in real life, I'd probably name it Sticks or Steve. Everybody gets named Steve in this game. That's a fact. But anywho, if you're interested in acquiring this, let me show you where you need to go to get it. Like I mentioned earlier, we are in the War Within expansion, so make your way over here to Castlegar. Once there, there are three spawn locations for this battle pet, the Isle of Dorn, the Ringing Depths, and Hallowfall. In the Isle of Dorn, zooming in on the map, these are the spawn locations. Zooming in on the map for the Ringing Depths, this is the spawn locations. And these are the spawn locations for Hallowfall, not as many. Now I ended up finding mine in the Isle of Dorn, so once you end up finding the battle pet that you're after, go ahead and tame it. Business as usual, nothing special is required. Now, I use my terrible turn up as always, just because it keeps me from dropping it below one health. And then as always, you know it, is Father's Winter's Helper and my Rusty Snail because they always get the job done. And the fun fact for the Meek Blood Lasher is fungal lashers are typically violent and carnivorous. This demi-native variety is better suited for shyly flailing its limbs against fellow small fry. I kind of feel like this is the type of battle pet that would try to like swat at you if you're a little bit late trying to get them breakfast. Kind of like a cat. Now let's take a gander at the stats. Keep in mind the numbers I read can change depending on the rarity level of the battle pet that you have acquired. Now for me, I ended up with a poor quality, but that is fine. I will love it regardless. Now the Meek Blood Latcher is an elemental type battle pet. Its first ability is Lash, a 100% hit chance. Lash is the enemy one to two times, dealing 112 elemental damage per Lash. Hits an additional time if the user attacks first. This is good against Mechanical, not so good against Critter. Next you have Soothing Mist. This restores 78 to 78 health to your active pet every round for five rounds. Persist through pet swaps. I wonder if the reason it says 78 to 78 is because I have a poor quality. I'm hoping that it goes higher for a better quality battle pet, but who knows. And finishing off the row one abilities, you have Stun Seed. This is a five round cooldown, 100% hit chance. Plants a seed in the enemy. After two rounds, the seed blooms, causing the current enemy pet to take 337 elemental damage and be stunned for one round. This is good against mechanical, not so good against critter. Going into the row two abilities, you have Poison Lash. This is a 100% hit chance. Instantly deals 112 elemental damage and poisons the target for 56 additional elemental damage per round for five rounds. This is good against mechanical, not so good against critters. Following that, you have Plant. This is an active plant your roots into the ground, absorbing nutrients while well planted. Your pet cannot swap. Deactivate for... For every round spent planted, you gain 135 health. Interesting. Finishing off everything, you have Entangling Roots. This is a three round cooldown, 100% hit chance. Causes a thick nest of vines to begin growing around the enemy team. Next round, the opponent's pets will take 337 elemental damage and be rooted for two rounds. This is good against mechanical, not so good against critter. And there you have it, the location and abilities for the Meek Blood Lasher. This battle pet very much seems like it would be good to go against anything mechanical. And following back up what I said earlier about maybe not feeding it on time and that's why it might try to lash out at you. Maybe, you know, I don't know if an automatic food dispenser would actually work for this one since it seems to have some sort of superpower against mechanical items. Just kind of keep that in mind. Well, hopefully you come out here and you acquire this battle pet for yourself. I also hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, consider giving it a like. And if you're new to the channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. I make battle pet videos every week and I would love to have you here as part of this amazing community. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And I look forward to bringing you the next battle pet video. Bye for now.